Hello piggy people, Skinny Pigs one here. So I just wanted to go around the room and give you updates about everything that's going on, how everybody's doing. So if you guys don't know, Reese and Velvet recently were spayed uh, and Apple has her yeast fungal infection back. I made videos on all of this stuff so if you want to watch videos to catch yourself up, up in the iCards on the top, probably right hand corner, I will have those videos linked up there so you can go catch up if you want. So the herd is all back together. Reese was separate from the herd for two weeks. Velvet was kind of like two and a half weeks or a little bit over because she did have the post-op complication that we had to manage. But everybody's back. Everybody's happy. Uh, we only had one small incident when Velvet rejoined. So everything was fine the night she rejoined. It was the next morning where she was being quite pushy with Reese and Reese put up with it for quite a while and then finally Reese decided to go after her. Pulled a little tuft of hair out but after that luckily nothing has happened again. So I guess Velvet got the picture. So Velvet's all healed up, Reese is all healed up, Apple we're working on, and we did have to start raising on antibiotics because she was peeing some blood, so a UTI. Uh, luckily I have a lot of antibiotics on hand because we've been at the vet a whole pile recently, and her pee after just a couple days went from, you know, being actual looking like bloody to going to light pink so we're going in the right direction it's very peculiar because the last time she had a UTI was after an introduction I think that was back when Velvet first came into the herd so I do think it's possible it was stress related because you know two of her friends were separate and then they came back and I that's all I can think of because it just seems odd that the last time she had a UTI was after an introduction as well. And you, as you guys know, she is a more nervous pig except for when she's around her friends. So something else I wanted to touch on a little bit was I never really fully explained why Reese and Velvet in particular went for being spayed. So in December, most of December, Velvet and Reese both were being really disruptive in the herd cage. There was tons of rumbling between them every day, every time they came across each other, which that in itself isn't the biggest deal, but it was a new behavior that was standing out as odd. So Huckle's rumbling right now, but that's normal. He's the boss, he's the male. So it was really peculiar to see Reese and Velvet doing that all the time. And then it turned into Reese humping non-stop so she was humping velvet ridiculous and this wasn't just when she was in heat this seemed to be every single day so many times a day so that's got to be stressful for both of them and then it changed to Reese also humping raisin and Reese had the bad idea of humping apple so then this kind of changed the herd into having some tension because when Reese started humping Apple, Apple got totally ticked off. So Apple is above Reese in the herd standings and it made Apple absolutely go attack Reese and anytime they were close to each other, Apple would start chattering and like you could cut the tension with a knife. So it was kind of upsetting because you know, Apple has had some health issues with the bladder stone, her fungal infection. So I really did not like that she was getting stressed out and worked up. And it was just really obvious that the dynamics of the herd weren't as peaceful as they once were. And all the behaviors that Reese and Velvet were displaying are hormone based. So I decided to get them spayed because they're both young they're both healthy so that was my reasoning behind the spaying and thankfully everything has returned to its normal peaceful self so Velvet did have the post-op complication and 
I am really happy that I got them both spayed and at no point was I terrified that Velvet wasn't doing well because thankfully even though she had her post-op complication throughout the entire thing she was eating, drinking, happy, active so yeah it wasn't the most ideal that she had a complication but we got through it and the vet team was great and helped us and now everything can be calm so in this herd we have one neutered male four spayed females and one intact female so raisin is the only one who isn't spayed and i mentioned briefly in another video that i won't be spaying raisin so raisin is really confident and comfortable in the cage but on her own outside the cage and being handled she is absolutely unpredictable and crazy so even though Velvet's a really shy, nervous pig, handling her was very easy. She's very cooperative. Uh, she even got used to sitting out on my lap and being snuggled. She did really well. Where Raisin, even just for nail clipping, it's like a huge event where she's trying to jump off my leg. She's flailing. She's screaming. Like, it's just, it gets ridiculous. And when she first had her the start of her UTI I picked her up just to like check her all over and she was screaming bloody murder when I was just trying to catch her so it really just made me be like nope I am not spaying her because she'll have to be put off in a section on her own she'd still be right beside the herd but she'd have to be on her own in a smaller section and I'd have to be able to pick her up carefully check her incision hand feed her give her her meds all of that stuff and I just feel with how wild and crazy she gets that it would not be a good combo or be safe for her to recover properly and she could do herself some real damage. So luckily when Raisin's in heat the only reason I can notice is because Huckle's following her around and now that Reese and Velvet are also fixed they're not going to react to her being in heat where Reese was trying to hump raisin when she was in heat so that's gonna go away so these four ladies that you can see right here are all spayed and now get to be super calm and relaxed because apple and pecan came to me spayed and they are the calmest piggies that you ever did see so I'm kind of biased towards spaying because when I first started getting female guinea pigs if you guys remember I only had male skinny pigs to start but when I first started getting female pigs, it was from Piggles Rescue, and they all were spayed. So I never knew anything but calm females. And then kind of for the first adult females that I had, uh, one would be Nanaimo that stands out. She wasn't fixed because I just adopted her off of Kijiji. And she ended up with the horrible ovarian cysts, and that's why we lost her. So... That was a really negative view of having intact females. My One of my first adult females that I adopted ended up with horrible ovarian cysts when she was not even quite three. Um, and then, as you guys know, last year, beginning of last year, I adopted Annabelle and Annalise, and those are two of the most wild hormonal females I have ever seen. So I had chosen last year to spay Annie first, because at the time she seemed like the most crazy and the turnaround for her is just unreal how calm and comfortable and relaxed she is like it just changes your perspective when you see that because every day with those girls before was just stress 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 so now Annabelle I still am going to get her spayed so Regardless of whether she'll go back with her sister or not, her days are just like Annie's were of constant rumbling, chattering, whining, huffing, snorting. So I'll insert a clip of her. So this clip will show you what her day-to-day -day is like. And then when she's in heat, times it by 10 her behavior and how loud she is.
so if you guys just watch that clip, like that's Annabelle on a normal day. A lot of walking around back and forth, whining, rumbling. And the funny thing is, like, Annie is so calm that it doesn't matter what her sister's doing. She has no reaction. So that's what I want for Annabelle. I want her to just not be driven by the hormones to do stressful things. So we are going to go ahead with um, spaying her. Uh, that's going to happen in March. I can't see her. I think she's in the back corner. But if you guys also remember, back when I used to clean the cages for Annabelle and Annalise, like just cleaning the cages would work them up. They'd chatter at me, snort at me, get all ridiculous. Now like Annie is as good as gold for cleaning her out, for petting her. She just absolutely loves attention and she's so calm. So hopefully her sister will be able to calm just as much and maybe they'll be able to go back together let's say they go back together then maybe i would attempt to see if they wanted to go with angus and autumn or even if these two girls don't get together maybe one of them would go with angus and autumn and i'd get the other one a friend there's a lot of different combos that i can try so then that leaves me with Autumn, so she's the only other pig who's not fixed. So we have Raisin, who I said I'm not going to go spay. Annabelle, I still am going to spay. And Autumn, I'm very on the fence. Like, she's perfectly happy with Huckle. She still would be at risk, you know, not being spayed to have ovarian cysts or uterine cancers. Um, and the other reason I possibly am thinking of spaying her, when she does come into heat, Angus is really pestering with her, so she has about a day of him just non-stop trying to mate with her, and she's yelling and screaming at him. So that is pretty disruptive and stressful for her. So I'll see how things go with Annabelle for her spay. Autumn I have a bunch of time to think about because Autumn's only a year and a half. Where, like, Annabelle, she's going to be four at the end of the year, so I need to get her spayed before she becomes a senior. So, I have a lot to think about. So, for sure, Annabelle, um, she's the same reason as I spayed Annie. Uh, the improvement in her overall just daily life, I think, can really make a difference. And then, as I said, for spaying Velvet and Reese, it was for their benefit, for their health, and also for the comfort and calm of the herd, which is really important. So, yeah, those are all my thoughts. Uh, just kind of wanted to get you guys up to speed on what's going on around here and things that I think about. So we will see you guys later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!